Hey everyone, this is just going to be a quick video trip down memory lane. Uh, I was going through my parents' basement recently through some boxes that I had in storage, and I came across uh, my very first camcorder. This is the Sony Handycam, and uh, this wasn't exactly mine. It was really a gift to the family for Christmas in uh, 1993, and uh, my uncle got this for us. I believe it was at Circuit City, and I, I I, even think I remember the price. It was around $700. Uh, now, this this is uh, no longer in... Uh, well, I don't know if it's actually in working condition or not. The thing is, I can't really find out because I don't have the uh, battery pack anymore that came with it that would attach... You know, you could either run it off the battery pack or charge up the batteries, which I... I still have those here, though. Um, you know, pretty big. Um, no, it's just it's just fun seeing this again, though, because this is what I used to make my very first movies. You know, when I uh, talk about picking up a camcorder for the first time in uh, December of '93 and making my first little short film, this was the camera um, shot on eight millimeter tapes. Uh, again, I can't open it up, but this is the... Maybe just go right in here. And uh, it was it was a nice camera. I mean, it's... Uh, I think the last time that I remember using this was around 2005 or six, I want to say. And it was it was starting to have some issues then with the power. It seemed like the, the power adapter uh, that I was running it off of it, there, you know, maybe the connection was loose or something. It was starting to have some problems. And there was, I remember, I think there were also some dropouts in the tape uh, toward the end. So I, I doubt that it would still really work if I if I could get a battery pack for it now and, and power it back up. I, I doubt it would really work. Oh, I, I bet you could still turn it on and uh, insert the tape and things like that. Um, it's a lot of little moving parts, you know. And it's funny because it's while this is uh, still a pretty small camera, it's still a far cry from... You know, what I can do now with a smartphone camera, just carry it around in your pocket. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else to say about this. I mean, I must have used this to shoot close to 40, I bet you 40 short films plus a lot of home movies when I was a kid. You know, that's the thing, when when my family got this, um, I had wanted a, cam, a camcorder for a long time because I really wanted to make movies. I had a lot of little ideas for short films and things, and I had no way to film them. So for me, when when this, uh, when this my uncle got this uh, camcorder for my family, it was like the uh, creative floodgates opened because now I could suddenly film, you know, start filming all these little ideas that I had. And I remember the, I believe it was the very first night we had it. I made my first uh, little, little short film with it. That was... Uh, like I said, almost uh, 28 years ago now. So it's, you know, it, it served uh, served me very well and served the family very well with a lot of home movies. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it was just fun seeing it again. Anyway, I just thought I'd share it because it's, it's just kind of neat to come across something like that. And, uh, you know, it, it's funny when you look back at old cameras, when you've owned a lot of different cameras over the years, it's kind of fun to think about the projects that you shot with them. They almost take on a little life of their own. You know, you can associate them with different times in your life when you were using that camera and what you were filming with it. And uh, they kind of tell their own little stories. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.